<laughs> oh my 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 guys you'll never believe the video I saw today you know I woke up uh, earlier on today and uh, I got on YouTube and I saw this video right of this guy okay and I'm gonna tell you, first of all let me tell you the only reason why I'm making this video is because this guy initiated some trash talk in my channel in the past first I don't I don't mess around with other people's channels here now unless they mess around and talk some initial trash to me first <clears throat> excuse me well <laughs> I don't even, gee, I don't even, geez, guys, I don't even know where to start on this video. This is just, I mean, it was just pitiful. It, it was just pitiful. I'm not lying, man. The the guy basically, he goes through the video, and, and, and what it is, okay, first let me tell you a story. <clears throat> I've been on YouTube for a long time, dudes. I've been here, I think it was, it was like uh, 2008 when I started my channel. And this individual, I can't remember if he came after me or, you know, somewhere around that there. But I've known, I've known this, this individual. And this is why I tell you guys, in, in, you know, I'm, I'm being serious about this when I talk about these role players here on YouTube. This guy was one of the ones I was labeling a role player. <laughs> the whole time, dudes. <laughs> now, some of these guys I joke around with role players, like, you know, it's a funny way about their shooting and stuff like that. I, joking around with them about that. Unless they take a jab with me. If they take a jab with me about my service, which is what this guy did, okay? This guy, behind the scenes, was with a couple of these other guys, okay? And he wasn't as open with it. But to this day, I still believe 100% that this guy was one of the main guys if not the main guy who first initiated the rumor that I wasn't a veteran, okay, that I wasn't a Desert Storm veteran, that I, that I don't have my medals, okay, that I didn't earn the medals that I, I, I earned these medals. I earned these medals. And therefore I earned the title, okay. And that's the reason why I throw my hat up here as well. I wouldn't be throwing it up here that much, guys, if these guys hadn't first initiated that trash talk and, and was always, you know, saying that they'll, you know, know that I'm a liar and all this. Now I just throw it in front of the camera on purpose, just to make, you know, just to make them mad, you know, just to make them mad, man. Play their game right back to them, dudes. Okay. And this individual, you know, again, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be making this video if he had not have said what he said about my service first. Well, comes to find out, guys, <laughs> this guy makes a video now. And he probably was only making this video because people were catching on to this dude that he wasn't. He, he in the past, pretended to be a Marine. Okay, he, he stole Valor. He called himself a Marine. He wasn't a Marine. And he admitted to it in this video that he made that I saw here on YouTube. And the and the, bad, the the worst thing about it is, guys, is you know what? I had a good hunch that this guy, all the way since 2008, he wasn't a Marine. He was a fake. But I, me, I don't worry about that kind of stuff because people like that, man, they're a dime a dozen. And, I, you know, I don't care, man. I, it's You know, I got better things to do to watch a guy like this who you can tell clearly that this guy's a fake. Okay, I already knew it before. I can smell it. I can see it. I mean, you could tell the way this guy was. He was a fake. And he put out this video now admitting that he stole Valor from the Marine Corps, admitting that he was washed out of boot camp. And as you guys see, that's what these guys do. They project. This guy was with this gang of other guys, and he was projecting his own thing against my channel. Come to find out, this guy was projecting what he, exactly what he was, a valor thief. Okay. Now, he put out a video <clears throat> in so many ways trying to apologize for that, for being a valor thief and saying, well, guys, 
you know, he, he's saying that he would leave YouTube, uh, let him know if it's really that bad, that he'll leave YouTube. See, the reason why this guy put that video out is because he knew he was going to get caught. Not by me, because I don't, I don't care about scum like this. I don't really, you know, I'm not, I got better things to do than run around here and see if I can hold people accountable, you know, for how many years they served, et cetera, you know, et cetera, what their titles are, et cetera. I don't, you know, it doesn't, I don't care, dudes. Unless someone starts some crap like that with me first, you know, beforehand. But with this guy, it wasn't even the case because I don't even consider him to be credible. Uh, in the past, this idiot even said that Saddam Hussein never had weapons, never used them, etc. Well, now we see why. Okay, he was saying that because he's a valor thief. He's not a veteran. He's not a Marine. He didn't earn the Marine Corps title. He totally slapped the Marine Corps in the face. I mean, just disgust me. You know, I got brother Marines that I'm friends with here on YouTube who really have seen bad, bad things in this piece of garbage. You know, you know, it just makes me sick. And, you know, the worst part about this piece of garbage is in that same video he made apologizing, apologizing to the world for his stolen valor. He mentioned in that video that he said there's a different, or he said something to the extent of there's veterans and there's combat veterans. Well, that's where I got to step in and say something to this Valor Thief, okay? There's a, look, Valor Thief, I don't think you, you, we know you don't know this because you're not even a veteran. You're a Valor Thief of the United States Marine Corps. But you might want to check online while you're reading those books and telling those stories about being a vet here on YouTube like you used to do when you're telling those stories. You might want to go read online about the DMZ Go read online about the U.S. Army troops who are over there getting shot at and shooting back, okay, throughout time, who are still having to fight for their combat pay, their valor thief. And then you come back here and you tell me the difference between uh, having a combat action ribbon, a combat action badge, and tell me the difference between them and my brothers over there who are getting shot at and shooting back on the Korean DMZ in what was considered to be peacekeeping operations because during that time frame this war campaign medal wasn't even in effect so in other words meaning that our country wasn't at war then you come back and tell me boy you tell us all how much you know about being a veteran since seeing how you're a valor thief. And then also come back and tell me about my Armed Forces Expeditionary Medal brothers who served over there on the Saudi and Kuwaiti border, standing down Saddam, defending your Kuwaiti oil that your mommy used to fill up her gas tank to take you to school, back and forth so, so you could get to school there, little weasel boy valor thief. Go tell me about the Armed Forces Expeditionary Medal brothers of mine who served during peacekeeping operations only, who had sarin gas put on them from 1996 until 1998. Gas alarms going off, boy. Then you come back and you tell me the difference. Go ask them if they got themselves a combat action ribbon or a combat action badge. Then, boy, would you understand that? Because, see, all the real veterans who face danger, they know that already. They know that. They, they know the difference between vets who face danger and the ones who want to pretend like they face danger here. So you go ahead, and all you bleeding heart guys over there, I know you guys feel sorry for this Valor Thief. Um... I don't know what to tell you guys because I don't feel sorry for him. He's weak. He's weak and he washed out of the Marine Corps like a squash like a bug. Disgusting. Makes me sick. Makes me sick that he would steal the title of Marine when he couldn't even cut it in basic training boot camp. And then come on here and make a video telling everybody 
the difference between one veteran and, a ne and another veteran. Boy, you don't know anything about being a veteran, so shut up. And go, and go, you know, you come, come on here and put out a video because you know you're going to get smacked down and called out for being the valor thief you are. So you want to beat the punch and you want to get try to get the sympathy vote here. Well, I don't feel sorry for you, scab. I would call you a pogue, but you ain't a pogue. You're a scab. You're a scab off the backs of America. And for all you respectable Americans out there or respectable, honorable uh, soldiers out there who earn your medals and titles. Respectable citizens carry firearms, criminals carry weapons, and wake up America. Because there's real veterans in this country who face real danger. But you're over here patting a valor thief on the back, telling them it's okay, it's okay, it's all right. While real veterans of SWASM and AFEM are fighting because. They couldn't even get their medal that they earned put on their DD-214. Mysteriously, it was left off of it. And I'm not one of them, boys. I got my medal on my DD-214. Trust me. That's what makes you boys rage, and you know it. You know it's on there. So, again, these veterans who face real danger, who are sick now because of Saddam's chemicals and bios, they're trying to fight to get their medal and being called a valor thief and I don't see you patting them on the back all I see you all I see you patting on the back is a self-admitted valor thief on here so wake up America get your priorities straight and stop running around here like a bunch of idiots and recognize okay who tells the facts here and who don't respectable citizens carry firearms criminals carry weapons peace out